Misties are a common problem with 2D data, and although there are automated tools to statistically analyse the optimum tie between lines, it can really help to visualise the misties to determine if there is a simple adjustment that can be made to a single line or if all lines require attention. Here is my map view, and you can see that my project is made of five 2D surveys. When I select the multi-survey target horizon in the map view, the smooth colours suggest no misties. So far, so good. But what about the small differences between lines that the colours don't resolve? If I right-click on the horizon, I can calculate the differences between the horizon values at each line intersection and write them into a table of mistie values. The table is located in the Tables tab and by default adopts the name of the parent horizon. I can open the table and view the misties. The last two columns show the mistie value between each line. One value is positive and the other is negative, indicating which line is shallower than the other. Some of the mistie values are very small, close to zero, and some are more significant, but all these decimal places make it hard to compare them. Let's run some simple processing on this table to remove the decimal places. Select the plus symbol and create a new table maths process. Give it a name. Select the mistie table as the input. Changing the output column type from auto to integer should truncate those decimal places. Now when I open the table, it is much clearer where the big misties are. Let's get them plotted. Select the plus symbol, create a new table map overlay and give it a name. Select the process table as input and assign the X and Y from the map to the X and Y in the table. Select one of the mistie columns as the value. The misties are small and the map is regional, so we need to scale the bubble size to something bigger, like 2000. Adding a border and label will help to view the results. There is a bubble at each line intersection and most of them show value zero, which is good. It means there is no mistie between those lines. There are some lines with non-zero values, but the smart label posting doesn't show them clearly. Let's explore the different options to see if we can improve the display. First of all, there's a filter to remove unnecessary points. Setting the filter to show values greater than zero shows only positive misties. It looks like only a small subset of lines have a positive shift. Let's take a closer look. Turning off the horizon, it is now clear that the smaller blue survey has zero mistie between its own blue coloured lines, but has a constant shift of 5 to 6 milliseconds between the blue lines and the more regional red lines. This is good. It means that I can apply a bulk shift of 6 milliseconds to the entire blue survey to get a perfect match with the red survey. Let's look at the other misties. Setting the filter to show values less than zero shows only negative misties. It looks like the other two smaller surveys are negatively shifted relative to the regional ones. Zooming in on the southwest survey, it is clear that there is zero mistie between its own purple coloured lines, but there is a constant shift of minus 11 or 12 milliseconds between the purple lines and the regional orange lines. This is good. It means that I can apply a bulk shift of 11 milliseconds to the entire purple survey to get a perfect match with the orange survey. Let's see if the last set of misties is also a simple fix. Zooming on the northeast survey, this situation looks more complicated, with a range of different values displayed. Modifying the display to see the different values as a varying size and colour might help here. Displaying the mistie magnitude as a bubble colour shows a single line of varying colour with all the other lines a constant shade of blue. Setting the bubble radius to the mistie value times 200 confirms that it is a single line that has an increased mistie along the line, whereas all the other lines are a constant shift of 4 to 5 milliseconds between the green northeast survey and the more regional red survey. This should be easily fixed by bulk shifting the green lines by a constant 4 milliseconds, 
and then checking the line with a varying mistie for interpretation or positioning errors. Great, that was easier than I thought. Time to create a structure map. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com. And remember, have fun with insight!